Okay, yeah. okay, Agent Trinity is gonna find a place to set up camp, and we're gonna explore the tide pools here and see if we can catch some more food. Oh! Ugh, look at that gooey, gushy. Maybe we can find a good shelter. We gotta set up camp here. We don't know how long we're gonna be here. Ugh, it's smoking a lot. Agents, we got this fire cone. Whoa! We gotta go through this water in the dark oh, to the other side. Creepy, creepy! Creepy, creepy! I could sleep here. Coconut leaf. The palm branches, I could sleep here. Whoa! Dude, you see that? Yeah, that looks a little too dangerous. I think we'd be swept away if we tried to cross right there. What do you think? Right there? Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Where? There. From there to there? I think you're right. It's deeper there, but the water is much calmer. I think that's our safest bet. Yeah. What is up, adventure agents? Agent Tech here. We are about to cross over to Shark Island in our last episode. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet. Hold on, please. I really want to make sure that you're safe, okay? We got Agent Axe here. We also have our new agent, Agent Trinity here. Hey and guys. what's your agent name? Agent Ninja! Agent Ninja. We have Agent Ninja here. In our last episode, Kahu, the Keeper of Knowledge, sent us on a mission here to Mokomanu, Shark Island, to find any evidence of the ancestral guardians of the people here of the island of Hawaii. And we got the napkin map from somebody named Berbere who was at a food truck here in Hana. And that napkin map led us here to this spot, Shark Island. So did we get any good answers from our Instagram agents? Yes, so many good answers, yes. lots of help. Lots of help from you Instagram agents. Follow us on Instagram if you wanna help us solve our mysteries. We just went live and asked some questions about how we should cross over Look here. Look at my dad. That one of haters, that one of haters. This agent really keeps us laughing all the time. Agent Axe is a awesome light in the world of darkness here, crossing over to Shark Island. The one that hated. Dab on them haters. Dab on them haters. Dab on them haters. Yeah, you know what? You can dab all you want, but you shouldn't hate the haters. You should love the haters. Because sometimes haters hate because they don't have enough love. So give them some love. Okay, so of all the responses from the Instagram agents, what do we decide we're gonna do? Cross right here? All right, so we got a lot of responses from the Instagram agents, and we decided the safest route is to cross right straight across here. I hey. think we can do it. Thank you so much for your help. One big it. thing is that we're looking for the ancestral shark, and maybe it's in the waters. Oh. Yeah, so we got to be careful. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Maybe, know. maybe the Queen of Narnia turned it into stone. Uh oh. Okay, so Agent Ninja is a little bit skeptical about crossing here because yeah. you don't want to get your, your your eyes wet, right, or your hair wet, or any of that. Yeah, she doesn't like sure. it in that. Salt water can sting your eyes. But I just told her Salt that this backpack is, is a... This. What kind of backpack is this? A floaty backpack. It's a floaty backpack. This backpack is waterproof. It can actually float in the water. So she is going to float on the floaty backpack while we swim across, okay? So are we ready to do this? I'm ready! All right, let's do it! Yes, but my finger accidentally grew into a crab. And if you want to find out how you can get your custom Adventure Agents badges with your agent name on it and your picture on it, go to our website and we'll show you how to do that there. Be agent Ninja, are you ready to go oh across this treacherous ocean? Yeah. Uh, we can do it, right? We can do, we'll it? do it? All right, let's throw the floating pack in, see if it floats. It floats, right. mm -hmm. Agent Ninja. Right, go. That's good news. Oh. I've got you, Agent Hold Ninja. Me. Hold me, okay. All right, so you're going to sit on here. There you go, we're gonna float across like a boat, okay? All right, Agent Ninja, it? there you go! Whoa! That was right, amazing! We're gonna float across like it's a boat. Here we go. Here I go. Come on! Oh. Bobby, I think I'm gonna swim here for longer. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, this is not the best at all. Whoa. Oh, this is so deep. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, look at how tall I am. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hold still, hold still, okay. I'm oh, Come on, let's make it across. Come on, Agent X. We can make it across. across. Oh, there you go. The boat works really well. Get out, there you go. Okay. Oh, we're almost in the oh. Come on. Come on, I got you, come on, Max. Whoa, all right. Okay, be careful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I hurt my leg. Oh, ow. Ooh, man, I just said these rocks are dangerous. Shark! Shark? Yeah. He's joking. <laughs> Come on, adventure agent family. We've made it. We made it across to Shark Island. 
Oh. So I am so glad that we are safely on the other side. That was a little bit tricky, but Agent Axe here made it look like it was nothing, right? <laughs> he was jumping in and out. Whew. He's a real adventure lover. He is a real adventure look lover. Oh, ouch. Ooh, I got a, I got a bad one too here. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I guess that means I'm next, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay, we got to find a way to get up to the other side here. Do you Let's see head on up. This rock face? Look. Oh my gosh, that is so be careful, be careful. Come on up. Come on up. There you go. You got it. Okay, this is really really dangerous and Agent Ninja is just training to be Agent Ninja. So we have to watch her. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Got to make sure Agent Ninja's safe. Great work, Agent Ninja. Give me five. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Now, this ocean is treacherous over here. It's definitely what Kahu said about it being treacherous. Whoa. Look at that. Ooh, we definitely couldn't cross over there. A fire? Oh, that's no fire pit. That's some sort of what? A memorial, yeah. Okay, Agent, so this island looks like it's sacred. This might be a memorial to the ancestral shark. We don't know, the ancestral guardian. Come on, let's go. Let's go check it out. Hey, Daddy, that's where I go, dangerous. Yeah, be careful. This is really, really narrow right here. All right, Agent Ninja, it's going to take all of your ninja skills careful. to cross this area right here. Right. See how narrow that is? Very, very dangerous. scared of heights and this is really really narrow path oh, oh this is oh I think I'm gonna make it agent ninja still ahead of me oh, oh. Oh. The problem with these lava rocks, everyone, is that if you fall on them, that is horrible. See how sharp that is? So it's actually extra dangerous walking around on lava rocks. But where's Agent Axe? Where'd he go? Agent Axe disappeared again. Agent Axe is gone He's so again. fast. He just passes us up and disappears. Agent Axe! Oh, okay. Now let's all be careful. This is a sacred site here. Now don't touch this. This is a sacred Hawaiian site. They build these commemorating their ancestors. Agent Axe, where are you? All right, so we're going to break up? Yeah, we're going to have to break up um, because I got to go up that hill and that's a little bit too dangerous for you and Agent Ninja right now. I'll take so. Agent Ninja onto this little trail over here okay. and see if I can find any signs of Moku Manu. Moku Manu, yeah. Mo Moku Manu. Yeah. Be careful. I Be careful. Right, I'm going to go up this hill here. It's a little bit dangerous. Be careful. Oh, there's Agent Axe right there. I'm going to leave my adventure pack right here. It's too heavy. Whoa, okay, that's slippery. I gotta be really careful right there, agents. Okay, so what did you find? What did you find? I'm not telling you until you see it. You're not telling me? Not telling he says it. he's not telling me till I see it. And I okay. don't even know what it is. <sighs> he doesn't I didn't know what it is. Okay, well, show me the way, okay? I don't know what this is. Probably a memorial. Oh. Yeah, this looks like some sort of commemorative deal or some sort of tower. I don't know if this island is inhabited by people. I don't know. You ready to look for the ancestral guardian shark, Mokumanu? Yeah. Let's see. Let's no, I can this trail film. over I here, can okay? Film. You're gonna film? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look for any signs of Mokumanu, okay? Whoa! A bird died. There's right a ladder. There. A bird died right there. A bird died? Yeah, Where? See? Oh, there's a bunch of feathers right there. Oh, it smells like something. Yeah, let's died. go up here. What is this? I don't know. Come on. Okay, let's check it out. There's some kind of abandoned tower here. Is it a lighthouse or something? There's check a it out. fishing thing up here. What? <laughs> what fishing. is it? Fishing. Oh, wow. Someone loves fishing. This is so neat. All right, you follow me. I'll go in front of you. This is a little bit less dangerous because it's not a big drop off, but it's still kind of treacherous because. There are sharp branches everywhere. Oh. <gasps> what? Careful, don't touch that, okay? That's some sort of electronic device. I don't know what it is. We need to be very careful here, okay? Oh, bird, give me the camera. <gasps> Look at this. Cutie. Look at this. Cutie. No, River, stand back, stand back. <gasps> it, it has little fuzzy feathers. Look 
This is the cutest little bird. Look at its little webbed feet. What's going on, little one? Do you know where Mokumanu is? Yes. Do you know where Mokumanu is? Yes, it does. Are you an adventure agent too? Agent Ninja, do you think it's an adventure agent too? It's a, you know where Mokumanu is and it's an adventure agent too. I guess it's hurt, poor thing. Adventure agents, do you know what we could do to help it? We better not get too close because I know that probably will stress it out and we don't wanna make its life worse right now. We need to find Agent Tex and Agent Axe and see if they have any ideas. Property of uh, U.S. Coast Guard. U.S. Coast Guard, okay, this is some official property here. We gotta be careful with this. It might you be some kind of- everything. Uh, Look at all the islands wow. that are going out. It's solar power. These are solar panels. This is some kind of, a, maybe it, it monitors the ocean and the tides or something like that, or maybe it monitors the temperature oh, out here. Oh, danger. No. Look. Maybe it's a danger, hurricane monitor. Danger, poison. Oh, that's a battery. What is it? You found something? A bird. They found a bird. The dead bird. I don't know, maybe it's the dead bird. All right, come on agents, let's go down here. I'm going to itchy. Soon I'm gonna have to go back. Come on. All right, come on down. Let's go see what Agent Trinity found. Whoa! My adventure pack or going down. What did you find? An injured bird, I think. Really? But we have to be really careful and gentle because it definitely is scared of us. Okay. Oh, is it right there? Yeah. Oh. Maybe it's protecting goodness. eggs. It might be a ground nest. No, 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 no. This is a baby. Oh, it's a baby. Look it at is those a baby. feathers. I yeah. There's lots of protected birds here. We have oh, to be very, Oh, but Daddy, remember careful. the feathers we found up there? Yeah. Me and Agent uh, Axe here found a bunch of feathers up there. We found this tower up there. It's really cool. Hey, That's bird. So this bird. It thinks that we are predators. are predators. Yeah. Look at that. It's trying to. Pe oh, wow. Okay. Let's be careful. Let's step be careful. Back. We're okay. Step out. back. We're stressing it out. Oh, this bird man. definitely looks like. Maybe it is trying to call its mother. I don't know. It might be abandoned. It might be an abandoned bird. It's a good thing that there really are no natural predators here Daddy. for this bird here on the island, Daddy. except, Daddy. except for mongoose and rats. Now there may not be any mongoose on this island, and so. This bird might be okay if we just leave it alone. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about these birds. Let's go ahead and leave it alone, give it some space. All right, agents. So we're gonna leave this bird alone. Whoa, you hear that? That is so sad hearing the call of that bird. Hopefully its mother or its father comes and finds it. It may have fallen out of its nest. The birds, they like to nest ooh, in the cliff sides of these rocks over here on the island. All right, come on down here, okay? We need to find a place to set up camp here on the island. We don't know how long it's gonna take us to investigate here. What'd you find? Crabs. Crabs? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, so not only are we gonna need to set up camp, we're gonna need to find food here. Check out that opihi. Yeah, we can eat those raw. Where's my That's knife? great Where's survival my knife? food there. Get, oh, your get knife? my knife okay. from your bathroom. All right, let's get the knife out. I love eating those. The opihi is hard to get off. My adventure pack is so big that we could fit Agent Axe's adventure pack in there so that it wouldn't get wet when we crossed over. All right, ah, here we go. All right, let's see if we can get some of the opihi off. Opihi is the name, the Hawaiian name here. It's a limpet. These things, they really suck hard to this but stone But they're here. really nutritious. Golly. Get a rock. I Man, just imagine you're a bird or some kind of predator trying to get this thing off without a knife. Man, be basically impossible. Ah, oh, okay, I got it. There you go. Whoa. Whoa, that is huge. Man, that is a massive opihi. That's the biggest thing. That is thing huge. Ever. We're gonna eat this, but remember, never ever eat anything oh, fine in the wild. That's the mouse. That's the mouse. Okay. Oh, the mouse coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a snail or a slug, kind of. What are you trying to do, Agent Ninja? Catch a baby crab. A baby crab? Like we said, we don't know how long we're gonna be here on the island. Gotta figure out how to have a food source here so we can survive. All right, so I'm gonna put this in my pocket, okay? Okay, so are you gonna stay here and try to catch more food? Yeah, I'm gonna go into that big tub. Okay, be careful over there. I'm gonna go find a place that we can set up camp. You're gonna try to catch food too? Okay, I think I need to stay with them. Maybe you could find a place to set up camp. Okay, yeah. okay, Agent Trinity is gonna find a place to set up camp, and we are gonna explore the tide pools here and see if we can catch some more food. We are Team on work. it here. Teamwork, yes. yes. Okay, Agents, you come along with me because I have to find a shelter that is gonna be adequate enough for all of us to fit in, and one that's nice and solid, structurally sound. Maybe we can find like a cave or something, but I'm gonna go up this way while they stick around here. Look at this, where does this lead, I wonder? Uh, maybe we can find a good shelter. Whoa, what did you find here? A moving Check this baby. out, agents. You see all these stringy things everywhere? Yeah. They're just like Catch moving one. around. Catch one. It's like some kind of worm or something. 
That is so interesting. Whoa, check this thing out. The water comes rushing in here. Wow. Oh, that's pretty crab. intense. I don't want to go in there. What is it, crab? Yep. Oh, and that's whoa, big. a hermit crab. There's lots of big crabs around here. Maybe we can find one of those. Oh. Yeah. Our little, oh, <laughs> our little hermit crab friend here is just crawling around. All right, there you go, little hermit crab. Be free. Look, look, look where it's coming what? from, see? Right there. What is that? that? Oh my goodness. Did you see that, Agent? That thing just sucked all those tentacles back in. What in the world is that? That's incredible. We have got to figure out what that is. So many mysteries to solve here on the island. Okay, Agent, so this tide pool right here is full of fish. Maybe uh -huh. we could try eating another sea urchin. Maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, sea urchin. We can eat some sea urchins. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is really slippery here. Ooh, what's back here? This looks promising. There might even be a cave back here. Come on, look at that. It is a cave. Oh, this is so awesome. I think this might make a perfect shelter. Wow. Check this out. Wow. This is perfect. Look from inside. So secure. As long as the ocean water doesn't crash all the way up into here, which I guess is a possibility. It looks relatively secure. Now I need to get the rest of the crew and see if this is going to work. Agent Ted! What? Agent Trinity is calling us. What did you find? A cave? Okay, all right, come on. Let's go see what Agent Tr Trinity found. Okay, we gotta figure out a way to get up here. All right, Agent Ninja. I can do it. You can do it by yourself? Okay, Agent Ninja loves to do things by herself. I can do it. All right, I'll hold underneath your feet there. There you go. Ow. Yeah. yeah, it's great to try to do things on your own. It's also great to let people help you sometimes. Yep, this is a situation where you might need a little help. There's nothing wrong with getting a little help from, from a friend, right? Am I your friend? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's stay behind her and make sure she gets up safely. Doing good, careful. These needles here are slippery. You I'm, use using, I'm using suction cups. Suction cups, all right. Let's see those suction cups work. Oh, suction cups. Oh, and there's even firewood. Where are you? Agent Trinity! Agent Axe is gone now. Agent Axe! Hello? 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 Agent Tax, come check out this cave! Wow, that is so cool. Wow, look at that, Agent. That is so cool. Agent Ninja can crawl underneath there. Girl, nice. Give me five. Wow, that was awesome. Oh my goodness, agents. Well, this cave good find. is so right perfect. There. Oh, a fire. Yeah, we can make a fire in the cave. We'll have to figure out how to make fire. Yeah. Gotta set up camp here. We don't know how long we're gonna be here. Okay, so the priority is... Mommy go hunt and you and River <clears throat> make a fire. Okay, but I need some material to make a fire. We gotta find out how to firewood. make a fire and survive here. First Wait, we need firewood, we need kindling. Oh, I know. I saw some bamboo on the way here. Yes, tons of it. Yes, we can. there was a ladder that was falling apart. Remember that ladder you saw? That was made out of bamboo. I know a way that we can make fire just using bamboo and some kindling, okay? I know what you're thinking. You know what I'm thinking? Yep. It's called a fire yeah. saw. Yeah, friction fire, uh-huh. Oh, I wanna see this. Agents, we are gonna figure out how to make fire just using bamboo. We're gonna need warmth. We're gonna today. set up camp here. Yep, well, who knows, we might have to sleep here tonight. I don't know. We're gonna have to stay here and figure out where the ancestral Daddy. guardian, the shark is. We'll stay here for the rest of our life trying to figure it out. We will? will. You will? Yep. Dude, give me five. That's persistence. Right it it really, really is good to have a persistent spirit. But make sure you bring love with you. Yep. Because love is mm -hmm. the key. Love is the key. All right, agents. I got my knife here. I really need to get myself an adventure knife. I've yes. never even had one. Dude, you do it need really an adventure knife. really come in handy right mm -hmm. now. Yep, you can borrow ours for now. All right, agents. Let's go find us some bamboo and some food. What did you find? Three, four, five, six, Ooh, seven limpets. there's so many limpets here. Thank goodness, man. I'm starting to get really hungry and I'm starting to get worried about what it is that we're gonna be able to eat here. You get on limpet duty, I'm gonna go find that bamboo, okay? Limpet duty. Limpet duty. <laughs> Axel, yeah. while you're at it, look for any evidence of Mokumanu, okay? I'm gonna look around too. I'm gonna go to a part of the island that we haven't been yet. Maybe I'll find some evidence of the guardian shark there. 
Ah, oh, here we are, right here. Oh, oh. Nah, definitely don't want to go down that. This thing is falling apart. But when you're in a survival situation, agents, you gotta look for anything you can. This might look like just some broken down ladder, but it's got cordage. See that? That can be very important in a survival situation. And it also has bamboo, dry bamboo, and you can use bamboo to make a fire. Uh, we got two pieces of bamboo there. I think that'll be enough to make our fire saw. Daddy. Okay. You want to see my Olympic collection? You got some. Look. Oh, nice. Except I got like 10 times more right what? there. See? Where? Oh, yes. This is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so hungry. Do you want to try one? Whew. Yeah, that is true. You can't eat these raw. That, ugh, look at that gooey, gushy. Yeah. Now, I never ever eat anything that you find in the wild. Whoa. I don't know if you can eat those. No, we can't. Yeah, don't eat anything you find in the wild I unless the adult says it's okay. All right, here goes. Okay. Yeah, you can eat them. Mm, chewy, salty. Other than that, it's pretty tasteless. Daddy. Chewy, salty, slimy. So you got your OPH here? Yep, head first. Let's see. Is it good? Mm. You like it? Good. Nice. Mm, what nourishment, about you? pure nourishment. Are raw or cooked? I'm not quite hungry enough yet. I think cooked is gonna be the way to go for me. Okay. All right, Agent Trinity, let's get that fire going. Look at this, we got firewood here. A lot of firewood here, this is great. It's a bundle of firewood. Agent Pikachu, you got us some coconut palms here. We're using it to collect our firewood so it'll be easier to carry over to the cave. All right, here we go. It'd be hard to carry all these. Ugh. But with our coconut palm basket here, we can. And this is what the native people of these islands used to make baskets, to carry things a lot. They were masters at weaving. Look at my firewood carrier here. Who's there? I hear somebody over here. Who's there? What? Oh, is that you, Agent X? Yes. What do you got? Oh, nice. Take okay. Take it to the shelter. All right, great. I'll get the bamboo. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, go get the bamboo. Thank you. Huh. That'll be helpful to have seating. There's so many crabs over here. Oh, crabs are such good eating agents. I really want to try and catch a crab. Ooh, there's one right there. I'm gonna get down there and see if I can catch one. Whew. Okay, man, those crabs are so fast. I did not catch any. I came this close to catching a couple, but they are super well adapted to this terrain here. All right, agents, well, no crab dinner today. Okay, agents, so I'm exploring the island here on the other side, on the rough side of the island, to see if I can find any evidence of the Amakoa. Whoa, <clears throat> whoa, oh, the guardian shark. Wow. That is dangerous. Now this is the open ocean here and I do not want to mess around with that. I don't know how I would get across here. That looks pretty dangerous. But I want to investigate that side of the island. Oh, I see a way right over here. Oh man, I do not want to fall down there. You must make sure you have firm grip. And that means three points of contact most of the time. One hand, one foot, one foot, three points of contact. The number three is a very interesting number in this universe we live in. It has to do with stability. Whew, okay, I made it. Looking for any evidence here. This is an awesome tree right here. I think this is a mangrove tree. Look around for any clues here. Oh, hey, there's a hole with some bird feathers there. Oh, and there's some bird poop there. Whatever bird that was may be nesting in here as well. Some of these islands are protected bird nesting sites. Oh, here's another bird nest there. And another right here. This island is inhabited, agents. Inhabited by these birds. That's incredible. Wow. What a view. That is beautiful, agents. Man, I can see how fishermen might have been off here off the coast. Right here, they may have run in to the rocks here to dock and maybe a shark did put its head up on their boat i don't know what do you think about that story well oh let's get to the other side of the island to find agent axe agent trinity and agent ninja see if they have found any evidence Ooh, whoa hey you okay uh oh sounds like agent ninja just fell down let's get down here and see what's wrong 
Are you okay, Agent Ninja? I slid down a Oh my goodness, you slid down there? Mm -hmm. I was trying to get down and then I slid oh. down. Oh. Because, because it actually said carry the wire ball. Oh, Axel was telling you to carry this? this? all the way over here. Girl, give me five. Great work, Agent Ninja. Man, you are very handy in a survival situation. Yes, water is very important, and whoever carries the water is also. Very it's getting really dark. Dude. Yeah, it's getting really dark. We need to have a fire. Let's make a fire. We might end up having to stay here overnight. I oh. haven't found anything. I, I haven't found, found anything food, either. But I haven't found anything of Makuman. Mokumanu. Yeah. I haven't found anything. It's so hard to remember the Amakoa, which is the uh, guardian shark that that the story tells about here, that the legend. Whew, okay, well, shelter to sleep in? you think so? You split the coconut open? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna split it open a little more. This coconut is so small, but what you can do is, oh, oh, yeah, there's water in there. Pop off the top here, like that. Just like that. Dig into the inside there. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, Axel. There you go. Yep, good. Oh my goodness, that is good. One little sip. Electrolytes. That's good. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so surprising mm -hmm. with how small it There's is. More. Yeah. So now we gotta work on making fire with this bamboo, okay? So what I gotta do is I gotta split this bamboo open right here, bang on it with a rock. See, like that? See that? It splits it right open, just like that. And if I were to just push on it, uh, I couldn't do that. And so, you need to whack it with a hammer like this. So now, I'm gonna sharpen this side of the saw with my knife. Oh, there's some meat in there. There's meat in there? Whoa, there is some meat in there. Oh, it's really, really tiny and slimy, but there's definitely meat. Yep, coconut meat is so good for survival. All right, agents, so now that we got this sh sharpened down right here, I need to make a little notch right here on this side, right here, like that. And then I'm going to drill a little hole right in there with this. Just barely, not too much. Just want to wait until my knife pokes barely out the other side. There it is, right there. Just barely. Now I'm going to saw this piece a little bit. Just to make a little groove there. And there we go. Now we need to get some little stuff to catch fire. So in order to do that, I need to shave down this bamboo here. See that right there? Those shavings will catch fire really easily. All right, here we go. See that? got me a little nest going on. Now that is supposed to catch fire. All right, agents, so I have my nest here, and now I'm going to rub these two pieces of bamboo together until it gets so hot that it'll get a coal going in this, and it should start smoking, and then hopefully I can get that little coal, that little ember, to, to catch to a flame, okay? What do you think? You think we can do it? Probably I've actually, not. probably not. Yeah, he says that because we've never done friction fire before like this. We've never yeah. actually really accomplished it, except once with a bow drill, or a few times, right? But I've never done friction fire like this without a bow drill, so we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna try to sharpen our saw here. I don't think it was sharp enough. So I'm using the coconut palm leaves here to hold my nest in place, see that? While I'm going back and forth so it doesn't fall off. All right, agents, let's give this another try. Keep doing it until you can't do it no longer. Ah, uh, smoking a lot. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's not smoking anymore. Man, huh? agents, this is so hard. Daddy do. Can't do it. There you go. Nice. Oh, I smell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's starting to burn a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is so hard. Oh, my goodness. Whoo. You guys want to give it a go? 
No. No? I do, I do. What do you think? You think Agent Ninja can do it? There you go. You got it, Rob. You're doing great. There you go. It's so much easier if you have a lighter. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. I have a lighter. What? I didn't even think of that. This whole time? This whole time. River Daddy has a lighter. Oh. <laughs> We could have just used a lighter. But that wouldn't have been I was fun. just so much and in survival been... mode, Agents, that I just completely slipped my mind. Man, but trying like this, it was a good workout, and it really gives you a respect for the, the people who used to have to do stuff like this in order to get a fire. And it also <laughs> motivates me to learn how to do this, yeah. because what if we really are in a survival be situation? Here. We yeah. don't have a lighter. Okay, Agents, I know I have a lighter somewhere. Let's rummage through our bag and see if we can find it. And then here, and here. No, we got binoculars. Oh, wait. Oh, survival matches. Yes. All right, so we got the little sticks here. We got these little needles here we collected. Let's make a little mess. All right, go ahead and strike it there. That was so much easier, wasn't it? It still didn't catch fire. Wow. Never ever use matches. If you're a kid and you're watching, never ever use matches. We gotta get this fire going, agents. Come on. There you go, okay, put it underneath there. There we go, okay, we got flame. Put the sticks on, put the sticks on. Come on, sticks. Blow that, blow it. You can do it, there we no, go. <gasps> oh, no. No river. You blew it out. Oh, no, agents. This is just proving to be very difficult. Uh, you have put some glass in. There we go, keep putting more on there. We're making oh, it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, man, there we go. We are getting it going. More sticks, more sticks. Agents, we got this fire going. Whoa, there it goes. Okay, so we got the vomit fruit here. Is this really a vomit fruit? It's That's a nickname for it. Does it smell like anything though? I don't know, let me try. It's not ripe, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, it's not ripe. <laughs> vomit. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to cook it, I don't know. Okay, agents, so we have the limpet here and we're gonna cook it over the fire because it's all we have for dinner right now. While we're doing it, we need to think about how we're gonna solve this mystery. All right, let's put this right there so it can cook. All right, agents, so while this limpet is cooking, we're gonna talk about the amakoa. Do you know what an amakoa is? No, sure. Well, it can be, yeah. In Hawaiian tradition, the amakoa is an ancestral guardian and it can be many different things and it, it usually takes the form of an animal. And in this case, the one we're talking about here on this island is a shark and in the story that we heard earlier that Kahu told us about, the shark rested its head on the fisherman's canoe. Now isn't that interesting? Why would a shark do that? What do you think about that? Do you hear that river? Is that an interesting story? Why would a shark rest its head on their canoe? Was it befriending them? I don't know. Yeah, well sharks were very important, a very integral part. Oh man, I think this is done. I'm gonna take that off and let it cool. <laughs> right there before we eat it, okay? Yes, agents, sharks were a very integral part, a very important part of the Hawaiian culture. See, the Hawaiian people, they lived here um, on the ocean, right? No matter where you are on the island, you're pretty close to the ocean and a massive part of their sustenance came from the ocean. Whether that be fish or any other kind of creatures that come from the ocean, a big part of their diet came from eating things from the ocean and that included shark. Yeah, so they would eat shark and they would also consider them sometimes to be protectors. And that might sound kind of strange because sharks, you know, we think of sharks as like attacking and eating people maybe sometimes. We're always afraid, duh, 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 oh, the shark. But the Hawaiian people didn't really see it that way. It's kind of like our ancestors, the way they thought of the wolf, right? Yeah, wolves. And, and we eventually tamed wolves and befriended them and now we have what we know today as dogs, right? Yes, and in these Hawaiian traditions, in these stores, the Amakoa, they were guardian sharks. And just like in the story that Kahu told us, they would feed these sharks and take care of them and form a partnership with them almost. And they considered them to be their ancestral guardians. Isn't that interesting? There's so many stories of so many people who believe very interesting things. And I really think this is interesting. So, are you eating that limpet? Is it good? Is it salty? Does it taste better when it's cooked? Really good. Oh, oh I gotta have me one. one now. Okay, cook River's one for me. One. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It just pops yes, right limpets. That. Yeah, I wonder if the Hawaiian people ate limpets. Huh? What do you think? Yeah. Hey, baby, do you want some of your limpet? Mm -hmm. mm. It's, it's like kind of chewy. <laughs> Is that pretty chewy? <laughs> it might seem strange to eat something like this, but we're out in the wild like this and. 
You're stranded on an island, you gotta eat what you gotta eat. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is way better cooked. That's oh. delicious. Man, try it. It's so salty, but it's good. One day we should go on a limpet. So Axel put this half a coconut in the fire with the limpets, and it acted like a bowl cooking it. That's such a good idea, Axel. Wow. Oh, man, these limpets are great. I'm so hungry. When you're super hungry, man, even the strangest things can taste so delicious because and it's I, food. Yeah. You gonna sleep here? I guess, but <laughs> it's gonna be pretty bumpy and rocky. We really wanna solve this mystery, agents, but I don't know if we can sleep here. It would be laying down on this. Man, let's see if I can lay my head down. <laughs> I'll get here. coconut waves. Uh, <sighs> I could sleep here. Coconut leaves. I think I, oh yeah, if we got enough coconut leaves, we could maybe, uh, the palm branches, we could sleep here. Whoa! Dude, you see that? Look at that. Come over here, everybody, look. That's not natural. What? Look at that, there's some etchings here. Oh my goodness, what does that look like? That looks like a shark. Look at that. Do you see the mouth? There's a mouth. And the eye. There's the fin, there's the eye. And there's the tail. Dude, wait a minute, wait a minute. The island, the shark. Wait a minute. What if the fisherman carved something here? This, this could be evidence, right? Do, do you see this? Come look no, at it. No, I haven't seen look it. Look at it right there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait, what? Where is it? Right what? there, see, there's the tail, there's the fin, and there's the mouth. And where did you say the eye was? Right there. That is so... Neat. Could that be the ancestral guardian? A carving of it? You know what? This cave is the perfect camp. If you were a fisherman and you docked on this and the shark laid its head on your boat and then you camped here for the night and maybe cooked the fish you ate on a fire, what would you do? Maybe oh, carve something. Memory. They ate a shark? Maybe they, well, I don't know if they ate the ancestral shark. Usually with the, with the amakoas, they just feed them. They don't eat them, but they would eat shark. So then they would have carved this right here. Yes, to represent the ancestral guardian. Maybe cave drawings were the first forms of art. One of the first forms of art that humans started creating. And I think it was, hey, so check this out. Check this out. You're in a cave, you're protected, right? Mm -hmm. And then, well, if you feel protected, you have a fire, you have some light at night, maybe you would carve things. Maybe you would start telling stories, right? Mm -hmm. In a cave. Agents, this is so cool. Now we don't know for sure, right? I mean, I guess someone could have carved that later, but it could be a part of this story. I don't know, agents. There's no way of really knowing. But what does it mean? I don't what know. What does it all mean? I don't know, agents. What does this mean? It doesn't mean we need to stay here tonight. Or... Well, we found some evidence. So our mission was kind of successful, right? I mean, we found a carving of what looks like a shark in a cave I want to go here. swimming anyway. You want to go swimming? All right, well, let's Night go back. Night swimming? Night, we're going to have to By swim across cliffs? it, across the, maybe shark infested waters at oh. night. Well, agents, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's Come put on, our fire agents. out. Let's get home. Yep, let's get home. Those Mission accomplished, Daddy. agents. But one now we got to make it home. We got to swim across there at night. This is Dad, kind of One day we need to scary. come here again and do this again. You want to come here again and do this yeah, again? Yeah, make a fire here and get a bunch of limpets. Uh, I love them. Did you enjoy this? I enjoyed the one. Before. Oh my goodness, I did too, Agents. This was a blast. We found evidence of the Amakoa here on the island. This is incredible. Wow, what an amazing experience. All right, well, let's see if we can get off the island safely. I don't know, come on, let's head out. All right, Agents, whoa. We are making our way across the island now. Be careful, okay? Do you hear the water? They do, you hear that? Wow, so it is whoa. so loud crash. You okay? Oh, another hole. I think that's a burrow for the birds. Oh, there's a bird in there. Look at that, it's one of the birds. The, same the baby birds, it's a nesting site. Okay, all right, I think this is protected. We have to be careful. Let's leave the birds alone, okay? Maybe that was the same bird. It just found its way back to its yeah, nest. Yeah, add more feathers. That would be so awesome. Oh, it does have more feathers, yeah. Who knows, who knows? All right, let's keep going. We need to make it to the other side of the island. Oh my goodness, agents, there's another bird here. Check that out. We have to find out what kind of birds these are. Yes, once we get off the island, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna let you know, okay? Yeah. Oh, there's another one of these birds. Look, it's running into the bushes over there. Agents, this is so incredible. Wow, I feel so blessed and honored to be able to be here on this island, whoa, and observing these birds like this. We're gonna try to get away and leave them alone, though. Oh, man. 
Whew. Okay, we made it out of that thick, thick tree area. Oh man. The wind's blowing for real. There's the open ocean. I think we gotta go this way. All right, so I've got the back of Agent Ninja's shirt here, but we have to walk along this narrow ledge here. There's a drop off on that side and that side. Got to be careful. Can we do this, Agent Ninja? I don't want you to hold me. No, I have to hold you. She wants to do it by herself, which is awesome. But I've got to hold you, okay? It's such a long drop down there. You can't even see it so far to the ocean. Use your ninja skills, exactly. There you go. There you go. Doing great. Man, I am so proud of Agent Ninja here. She is a true ninja. Let's see ya. Oh, a bug? Ah. Ooh. All right, keep going. Can't stop to look at bugs when you're on a cliff like this. You gotta be careful. Oh, okay, we made it past the most treacherous part. Agent Axe, where are you? Agent Axe is gone again. The ocean waves are just blowing against the camera here. There's a crab right there. Now watch how easy it is to catch this crab. Got it. Did you see how easy that was? Do you know why it was so easy? Oh, it got away. It's one getting Did you blind it with the light? Yes, I blinded it with the light. That's how it was so easy to catch it. It was so hard. I tried so hard to catch a crab earlier. All right, agents. Well, there's the other side over there. Got to go through this water in the dark oh, to the other side. All right, look out for any sharks. No sharks. I don't see any sharks. All right. Okay. Let's get in the water. Let's cross to the other side. Who is hungry? Me. I'm so famous. Oh my goodness. Those limpets didn't do it, did they? they did not. <laughs> not quite. We'd have to eat a lot of those limpets. All right, so if we make it across to the other side, I'll buy everyone's steak dinner. What? With steak and rice. At a restaurant? Yes. That we don't have to cook? Nope. Yay! Steak and rice! All right. Is that okay. what we're we'll make it across. Steak dinner. But first yeah. we have to make it across this water in the dark. Oh uh, yeah, we That's gotta do it. Okay, we just saw a giant fish in here. It was a really big fish. Oh, there it is again, right there. Oh, that fish? That's there was a scary. big okay. fish in there. Okay. Yeah, oh, well, if you catch the fish, we'll eat it too, okay? Really? <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna find in these waters. We need to cross, we need to go eat. Come on, let's go. Um, Agent Trinity and Agent Axe are going across right now. You got it? You guys got it? We got it, we're okay. All right, so me and Agent Ninja are hanging back. Agent Ninja's having a little bit of trouble because she's a little bit freaked out by it, by going in the water. What do you think, Agent Ninja? You're a little bit afraid of the water? Yeah. You know what? I completely understand agents. She has been such a brave agent this whole time, and now she's come to a point where she just can't quite make it. But I think she can. I think she can do it. Are you guys to the other side? You see the light over there? You made it? Awesome, okay. All right, we'll be right over. You ready? You can float on the floaty, okay? It's a floaty. It's a floaty, yeah, here. Here's your floaty, okay. Oh, that floaty. What? No way. You found a floaty? Oh, okay, can you bring it over here? Okay, agents. There's been a turn of events here. Agent Axe and Agent Trinity have found a floaty for Agent Ninja. Are you excited? You get to float across in your own floaty. You know, agents, sometimes when you're just down and out and it just seems so bleak and hopeless, something incredible happens. Like maybe a shark lands its head on your canoe. Interesting things happen like this sometimes. We don't know why or how to explain them sometimes, but they do. Come on, Agent! Bring it over! Hey. Oh my goodness, where did you find that? Just in a pool. That is incredible! A floaty just for you. What does it say? Love, Journey, Jordan, Jaden. Love. Aww. We love you all. Love. That's incredible. Love came to the rescue. Life is an adventure. And love is the key, and we love you all. Yeah. That's what we always say. Isn't that yeah. interesting? Now that's written on the floaty that rescued yeah. you. Yeah. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Here. <laughs> okay, sit down in it like this. Here. There we go. Okay, so we are gonna cross here to the other side. This is so incredible. Okay, shine the light this way, yeah, okay. You got it? Come on, this way, keep going. Keep going this way. 
big fish. You saw a big fish? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's it's get to the other side. Go, 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 go. Come on, go. Swim, swim, swim. Hold on to the floaty. You can hold on if you want. Come on. This is so cool, agents. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Woo. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Creepy, creepy. <laughs> All right, agents, we made it. Agent Trinity. What an incredible find. That is so amazing. It even says we love it. So, where did you find it? Right here, tucked away in this little alcove. It right in there? Yeah. This. It's like River was crying on the other side of the ocean and we didn't think she was going to be able to make it. And then we looked over and right there was a floaty that was the perfect size for Agent Ninja. Isn't that incredible? Hey, what if the Amakoa was looking out for River, the guardian shark? Yes! Wow. The guardian shark was looking out for us maybe. This is incredible. The hell of a shark know how to make a floaty? I don't know. Agents... You never know. Some people call them angels. Some people call them Amakoa guardian sharks. Some people call it love. Maybe, yeah, some people call it love. We call it love. It says, you did it. You did it. We did do it, right? We accomplished our mission. You did it. We are so proud of you. Isn't that incredible? The guardian is proud of us. Love is but proud of us. But we are so this. proud of you. Is there more than one? I'm thing? proud of you. I'm proud of you. Dude. No, says, oh. We are proud of you. We. Maybe there's more than one guardian shark. What do you think? I think that we have had an incredible adventure here on this shark island. And I think we've learned so much, and I hope you have too. All right, agents, well remember, life is an adventure and love is a key. Adventures aren't always easy. Sometimes they're very difficult, and they can be painful and hard, just like our experience on the island was a little bit. But it's always worth it, and let me tell you, love is always the key, and love is what makes it possible for your adventure to be successful. And remember, we love you, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Adventure Agents out.